Which is better, PWA or a native application? And if I've built a PWA, do I still need to build a native application? These and many other questions are the questions I get asked all the time about PWAs and native applications as PWAs are becoming more and more powerful. But what you're gonna ask yourself is, is that actually the right question? In this video, I'm gonna go through the benefits and the drawbacks of PWAs and native applications. And at the end, I'm gonna talk about the considerations for when to build a PWA and when to build a native application. And if you wanna know more about PWAs, why not take a look at my other video, What is a PWA? I'll leave the link in the corner. Watch it after this one, please. But for now, let's waste no more time and let's get to it. First of all, how are PWAs and native apps built? Native apps are written to run on the device's operating system like iOS or Android. And PWAs are written to be delivered from a web server and run in the browser. Native applications tend to be written in the programming language for each platform, whether that's Object C and Swift in iOS or Java in Android. Whereas PWAs use JavaScript and JavaScript frameworks HTML and CSS. Native app development tends to take longer and you need to build multiple versions, one for each operating system. PWAs tend to be faster to build and you only need a single code base that will run on many different devices. And with responsive design, you know that the UX will display well on lots of different screen formats. When it comes to distribution, PWAs are far easier to distribute. With a native application, you have to submit it to the App Store. For each store, you have to pass the store's requirements and you may need to register and pay a fee for each developer account. As PWAs are essentially a website, PWAs bypass the store requirements because all the user needs is a browser and the URL to the PWA. Updates to a PWA also happen automatically without any approval from the store. However, the store's requirements do stop poor quality apps being published. And publishing an app on a store gives it more reliability and gives customers much more confidence in using that application and transacting with that application. And that leads us neatly onto discoverability. Native apps and their pages cannot be indexed by search engines like Google. You can only find native applications through the store or through the store's website. A PWA is very much like a website, meaning that the PWA itself and its pages can be indexed by search engines like Google. One of the key benefits of a PWA and a native app is security, but which one is more secure? PWAs are more secure than a normal website as they have to run under HTTPS, meaning that the exchange between the client and the server can't be tampered with. Compared to a PWA, a native app has far more options to build in more measures for security. Users trust a native application more than they trust a URL because the native application has to pass the security requirements of the App Store before it can be published. An average user installs very few applications. I actually seen an article that says an average user installs zero applications. And the reason why that is, is that it takes a lot of commitment for a user to install and use a native application. A progressive web app requires no app store and no installation, just a URL and a browser. PWAs can be bookmarked and added to the device's home screen. When it comes to performance, both are good, but the native app is better. But why? When compared to a traditional website, a PWA performs much better. The code of a native application runs much faster. It's closer to the operating system. It can take advantage of hardware acceleration, meaning that the overall customer experience is much better. When it comes to functionality, the native app has the edge because it can take advantage of more of your device's features. While the technology of PWAs are slowly catching up with native apps, there are still limits on functions that PWAs can deliver. Both native apps and PWAs have their strengths and they have their weaknesses, but asking whether to build one over the other is actually the wrong question to ask. And here's why. Realistically, a PWA is not ready to completely replace a native app. And although there are routes to move a PWA 
into an app store, like Google has this bubble wrap feature, I'd still remain wary of using those right now. On the other hand, I don't see many scenarios or situations, particularly in e-commerce, where just using a native app to derive all of your digital interactions with your customers seems to make sense. Especially the lack of discoverability, the inability for it to be indexed by search engines and the inability of you to share links into a native application. If you're just starting out or you've got a basic e-commerce website, then I would definitely consider building a PWA to replace the website because you'd get many benefits like performance, better user experience and better user engagement. And the next question should be, do I need a native app as well? Consider building native apps where you want to create that deeper, richer customer experience and engagement, particularly where security is a concern. As good native apps engender loyalty and trust, and they also achieve higher conversion rates than a website. Another key consideration for building a native application is if you need to use more of the device's features and capabilities to really build a deep engaging customer experience or you just want to differentiate against your competitors. So right now, in my opinion, it's not whether you need to build a PWA or build a native app. It's actually whether you need to build both. If you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to press that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.